Hey guys, in this video we are going to know the names of fishes and a lot more information about it. Let's go into the video. Tottanai thurum manarkeni mandarku kachanai thurum arivu. In sandy soil when deep you delve you reach the springs below. The more you learn the freer streams of wisdom flow. The first fish we are going to see is a kingfish variety named as the narrow barred Spanish mackerel. It is a mackerel of the family Scombridae. They are elongated fish with a moderate to strongly compressed body and a pointed snout. The fish has minute almost invisible scales which gives it a smooth body surface. They are vivid blue to dark gray in color along their backs and flanks and fade to a silvery blue gray on the belly. Spanish mackerel have scores of narrow vertical lines down their sides but the juveniles are spotted they have two smaller keels on either side of the caudal peduncle and single lateral line dropping down rapidly behind the second dorsal fin Spanish mackerels can grow up to 240 cm of total length and weighs up to 70 kg This is sliced pieces of kingfish it does not have much bone and this is a very easy fish to clean and cook it is a highly rated food fish it is marketed fresh on ice or salted and dried this is tuna which are related to mackerels and are placed with them in the family scombridae and order persiforms tunas are elongated robust and streamlined fishes they have a rounded body covered with minute scales that tapers to a slender tail base and a forked or crescent shaped tail in color tunas are generally dark above and silvery below often with an iridescent shine they have a conspicuous keel on either side of the tail base a row of small finlets behind dorsal and anal fins and a corslet of enlarged scales in the shoulder region there are many varieties of tuna what we are seeing now is the big eye tuna Big eye tuna live in the tropical and warm temperate waters of Atlantic, Pacific and Indian oceans. They are large, deep-bodied, streamlined fish with large heads and eyes. Maximum weight of individuals is around 210 kg. This is little tuna. It is the most common tuna found in warm temperate and tropical waters. The little tuna feeds primarily on pelagic fish. It is best identified by the dark spots appearing between its pectoral and ventral fins and worm-like markings on its back. It is marketed fresh, dried, canned, smoked and frozen. This is frigate tuna or frigate mackerel found around the world in tropical oceans. A pattern of 15 or more narrow oblique to nearly horizontal dark wavy lines are seen in the scaleless area above lateral line. Its maximum length is around 65 cm and the maximum published weight is around 1.7 kg. It is usually marketed fresh and frozen and also utilized dried or salted, smoked and canned. This is chub mackerel. It is a species of fish in the tuna and mackerel family Scombridae. The body of this mackerel is elongate and rounded in cross section. The back of the fish is steel blue in color and is overlaid by faint wavy lines. Chub mackerel attains 64 cm in total length almost though most specimens encountered in ranges between 30 and 40 cm in length its maximum published weight is around 2.9 kg it's usually marketed fresh frozen smoked salted or canned this is indian mackerel it is a species of mackerel in the family scombridae of order persiforms It is commonly found in the Indian and West Pacific oceans and their surrounding seas. It is a small, moderately deep-bodied and robust fish with tiny but distinct scales covering the body and the head is longer than the body depth. A dark spot is found on the body near the lower pectoral fin margin. These fish have thin dark longitudinal bands on the upper part of the body which may be golden on fresh specimens. The Indian mackerel is a small to moderate sized fish. which attains 42.1 cm in total length but most specimens are 25 cm or less indian mackerels are generally marketed fresh frozen canned dried salted smoked and also made into fish sauce this is sohel surgeon fish also known as arabian surgeon fish red sea surgeon fish thorn tail fish etc the sohel surgeon fish lives in tropical and shallow reefs 
Its body is strongly compressed, oval shaped and vividly blue with white stripes stretching along its entire length. It can be found in schools but only when it is young. In adulthood, it becomes solitary, very territorial and extremely aggressive. Surgeon fish have a blade like spine in the tail used for defense and are as sharp as surgeon scalpel, hence the name surgeon fish. To defend itself, uses the blades it has near the caudal fin to inflict deep wounds. Unlike other surgeon fishes, the spines this species has on its caudal fins are not venomous. The sole surgeon fish is moderate sized and attains 40 cm in total length. This species, though edible, has little commercial value as a food fish. This is Indian oil sardine. It is a species of ray finned fish in the genus Sardinella. They are coastal pelagic in habitat and feeds mainly on phytoplankton and zooplankton. They form schools in coastal waters and strongly migratory. Indian oil sardine has an elongate body which is subcylindrical in cross section. Average body length of the mature fish is around 20 cm with a maximum of 23 cm and a maximum recorded body weight is 200 grams. They are marketed fresh, dried, dried salted, smoked and canned. Also made into fish meal and fish balls. This is spotted sardine. It is a reef associated marine species of sardinellas in the herring family Clupidae. It is one of the three species of genus Amblygaster. The distinctive feature of spotted sardines from other two relatives is the presence of 10 to 20 golden spots along the flank. The color of spots may change into black after preservation. Their belly is less rounded and scutes are more prominent. They are usually marketed fresh, dried and dried salted. This is silver biddy. It is the name used to refer to bony fishes belonging to the family Geridae in the order Perciforms. Silver biddies have pointed snout and a sloping forehead. There are many species of silver biddy. What we are seeing now is the strong spine silver biddy. When fresh, upper surface of head and trunk are silvery to golden brown, grading to silver on abdomen. Pelvic and anal fins are yellow. Common body length of the fish is around 20 cm with a maximum of 44.5 cm. They are usually marketed fresh. This is long tail silver biddy. This is pig handle barracuda. This fish has an elongate, almost cylindrical, torpedo shaped silver body with a large head and a pointed snout which is built for speed and acceleration. Across the back, they have a series of pick handle shaped bars and an overhanging lower jaw. The mouth is filled with sharp teeth and the jaw is powerful. Pick handle barracuda are ferocious predators and will attack any sizable fish that they come across. The pick handle barracuda is a relatively large fish which can grow up to 150 cm in length and weigh up to 11.5 kg. It is a tasty fish with a palatable white flesh, usually sold fresh, frozen or dried salted. This is Baramundi. The Baramundi or Asian sea bass is a species of Ketadromus fish in the family Latidae of the order Passiforms. Baramundi are demersal inhabiting coastal waters, estuaries, lagoons and rivers. This species has an elongated body form with a large slightly oblique mouth and an upper jaw extending behind the eye. They have large scales which may become darker or lighter depending on their environments. The average length is about 60 to 120 cm and the maximum weight is about 60 kg. Baramundi have a mild flavor and a white flaky flesh with varying amount of body fat. This is belt fish. Large head, hair tail, ribbon fish, knife fish or some of the other English names of this fish. It is a member of the cutlass fish family Trichuridae with double rows of fins running down both sides. It lacks a traditional fish tail and the side fins taper to a thin thread at the tip. They can be found in tropical and temperate oceans throughout the world. Large head, hair tails are silvery steel blue in color turning silvery gray after death. It does not have prominent scales, but its skin is coated with a fine powdery glitter. The fins are generally semi-transparent and may have a yellowish tinge. The eyes are large and the large mouth contains long pointed fang-like teeth. It is a ferocious fighter and it hunts at night in imposing schools. Large head hair tails grow to 5 kg in weight and 234 cm in length, but most specimens are only 50 to 100 cm long. They are usually marketed fresh, frozen, salted or dried. 
This is greater lizard fish. The greater lizard fish is a species of lizard fish that lives in the Indo-Pacific. The body of this fish is elongate and cylindrical with its head depressed and lizard like. The color of this fish is brownish dorsally and silvery to white on the lower sides and belly. It is a moderate sized fish attains about 45 cm in total length. These fishes are usually sold fresh. This is Spangled Emperor. The Spangled Emperor is sometimes called Northwest Snapper or Yellow Emperor. Belongs to the Lethnidae family which also includes Sea Bream and Large Eye Bream. The Spangled Emperor can live for more than 30 years. They are carnivorous bottom feeding fish. The Spangled Emperor has a moderately elongate and fairly compressed body with a relatively large head and a snout that is almost pointed. They have robust teeth at the front and side of the jaws and cheeks without scales. The color of the fish is olive green above fading to white on the undersides with blue spots on the scales of the upper body. It is a moderate sized fish can grow up to 87 centimeters in total length and 8.4 kilograms in weight. Spangled emperors are sought after by recreational fishers and are considered to be delicious. They are marketed mostly fresh. This is large tooth flounder. They are flat fishes belonging to the family Paralichthidae. They are found in temperate and tropical waters of the Atlantic, Indian and Pacific oceans. Body is flat but typical fish shaped. The head is large with bulbous eyes both on the left side. The tail fin is well separated from the dorsal and anal fins. The species varies in color closely matching the substrate it is resting on but is predominantly sandy brown usually covered with variously sized rings and often two dark blotches on straight and curved parts of the lateral line and a smaller blotch halfway to caudal fin base. Common body length of the fish is around 30 cm with a maximum of 45 cm. It has an excellent flesh which makes good eating and is marketed either fresh or frozen. This is Malayan flounder. The color of the fish is brown on the eye side and pale on the blind side. A dark blotch occurs anteriorly on the straight part of the lateral line. Common body length of the fish is around 20 cm with a maximum of 35 cm. This is four lined tongue sole. They are flat fishes in the family Cynoglossidae. It can be found in marine and brackish waters in estuaries and coastal waters out to the continental shelf. This flat fish is rather elongated with a rounded region and body that tapers posteriorly to a pointed tail. The eyes occur on the left side of the head with an irregular dark blotch on gill cover. There are four lateral lines, two on the eye side and two on the blind side. The mouth is asymmetrical and bears minute teeth on the right hand jaw only. The color of this flat fish is brown on the eye side and white on the blind side. This species can reach a length of 44 cm in total length though most do not exceed 30 cm. It has an excellent flesh which makes good eating and they are marketed mostly fresh. This is oriental sole. They are flat fishes belonging to the family Solidae. Their body is flat, oval or somewhat elongate and strongly compressed with two eyes on the right side. Their dorsal and ventral contours equally convex. Oriental soles live mainly in shallow seas on muddy or sandy bottoms. The color of this fish is brownish gray with irregular dark blotches on eye side. Common body length of the fish is around 12 cm with a maximum of 38 cm. The flesh of this fish is quite palatable and is mostly marketed fresh. This is bar tail flathead. It is the type species for the fish genus Platycephalus. The body of this fish is elongate and tapers posteriorly and its head is strongly depressed. Mouth is large with the lower jaw longer than the upper jaw. Eyes are large and protruding near the top of the head. They are mainly nocturnal and are found singly lying on sandy and muddy bottoms of coastal waters including estuaries and juveniles have even been taken in fresh water. This species can reach a length of 100 cm in total length though most do not exceed 60 cm. Its maximum published weight is around 3.5 kg. It is considered a good food fish with a palatable white flesh and is usually sold fresh. This is blue fish. 
It is the only extant species of the family Pomatomidae. It is a marine pelagic fish found around the world in temperate and subtropical waters. It has a streamlined, elongate and slightly compressed body. The fish is blue-green along its back, shading to silvery on the sides and belly. Its single row of teeth in each jaw is uniform in size, knife edge and sharp. Blue fish are aggressive and have been known to inflict severe bites on fishermen. Wading or swimming among feeding blue fish schools can be dangerous. It is relatively a large fish with maximum length of 130 cm and maximum published weight is around 14.4 kg. It is a good food fish marketed mostly fresh but also dried or salted and frozen. The fish is however very oily and its flesh deteriorates rather quickly even when refrigerated. This is goat fish. They are perciform fish of the family Mullidae. Goat fishes are characterized by a pair of chin barbels. Their bodies are deep and elongated with forked tails and widely separated dorsal fins. Goat fishes are distributed worldwide in tropical, subtropical and temperate waters. There are many species of goat fish. What we are seeing now is the gold saddle goat fish. Its common body length is around 35 cm with a maximum of 50 cm and the maximum published weight is around 2.3 kg. This is Indian goat fish. Common body length of the fish is around 35 cm with a maximum of 45 cm. This is Cobia. It is a species of Carangiform marine fish, the only representative of the genus Rachycentron and the family Rachycentridae, attaining a maximum length of 200 cm and a maximum weight of 68 kg. The Cobia has an elongated, fusiform, spindle-shaped body and a broad, flattened head. The eyes are small and the lower jaw projects slightly past the upper. Fibrous, williform teeth line the jaws, the tongue and the roof of the mouth. The body of the fish is smooth with small scales. It is dark brown in color, grading to white on the belly with two darker brown horizontal bands on the flanks. The cobia resembles its close relatives, the remoras of the family Echinidae, but it lacks the remoras dorsal sucker and has a stouter body. It is pelagic, but it may enter estuaries and mangroves in search of prey. The cobia is sold commercially and commands a relatively high price for its firm texture and excellent flavor. Okay guys, let me finish this episode with this fish and we are going to see about more fishes in the upcoming episodes. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel. Thank you.